Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will start a new session. It's about how to create multi-authentication system with Laravel Breeze package. I have already shared how to create multi-authentication system with Laravel Cherry Stream. But lot of students ask me about it. It's a little bit complicated. And yes, I know it's a little bit. For the reasons that will be another updated video for this course on to create multi-authentication system with using Laravel Breeze package in very easy way. I hope you like it very much. So friend, that is one of the updated videos as per your demand. So now how to create that multi-authentication system with Breeze is step by step. I will show you everything with the live example. For doing this, first of all, we have to do, we have to install that Laravel. I hope you already know about it, how to install that Laravel. Right now, my current version as a 8. Okay, so right now current version as a 8. And if you go here, there is a packages into these packages. And here there is a JD stream. So I have already discussed about that JD stream. Now there is a, another package as a breeze package. And also Laravel recommended to right now you should use that breeze because that is very easy. So how can do that work step by step I show you. Now, first of all, I want to install one of the Laravel Fresh project. Okay, right now I'm using that ZAMP and my Apache and the MySQL is running. I hope you already know that basic part. And also, in when you install that ZAMP in your C drive, that will be created on the folder, and that is a stdocs. So stdocs is your main root directory of your local server, right, friend? Right now, that is our local server is now running. And here I want to do, I want to create one of the project folder. Okay, I create one of the project folder and I just name it as a Pro 6. Okay, that is one of the project 6. I make it as a Pro 6 and into the Pro 6 area. Here if you want to install it, first of all we have to do, we have to install that composer. Right, so I have already installed that composer. For you, I want to do, I want to make it as a fresh. Like if you want to in install that composer, you have to go to that get composer. And from to the composer, if you go to the download. And that is the composer code, right? So now I simply copy it. I simply copy it. And now if you go, and that is our appropriate position here. I want to create another new project. And now I aim it with the CMD. Okay, that is our common prompt. And that is our appropriate position. So here I simply paste it. Now click as the enter. Now that will be install that composer. You can see all setting correct for using the composer is now successfully install that composer. Okay, you can see it's not successfully in Eastern and also is unlink our composer setup.far, which is totally fine. And if you want to check that uh, composer is installed successfully or not, you can also check it with the composer, composer, and then hyphen V. If you click as the enter, now it will be show that all that information you can see right now there is a composer version I'm using as a 2.0.9. Okay. So, which is totally fine. I will successfully install that composer. And now if you go to a Laravel page again, right now we don't need this. And here you can see there is an option uh, for the choose your sales server install via the composer. So, I simply select this install via the composer. I have already installed that composer. Now, if you want to install that project, that will be our project. I simply copy it. And now here, here I want to do and to paste it. Okay. So, better I copy it again. And then I want to turn to paste it. So that will be as a composer create project Laravel and the Laravel and this example app will be your name. That means a project name. Okay, so right now I want to turn to create one of the breeze project. I name it as a M auth. Okay, there is a multiple authentication. I name that project folder as a this one. Okay, now click as a enter. Now that will be install that total Laravel project from to the internet and it will be install it in your this position. Okay, that means here. So friend, it may take little time. Okay, it may take little time. Better when it will be done, then I will come back again and make that sure you are connected with the internet. Here you can see friend, our Laravel project is now successfully installed. Okay, so right now here, if we have to do, we have to go change the directory. That means the CD means just change directory. And then that is our project name, right? So I have uh, created my project name as M auth. First of all, I want to do, I want to change the directory with the CD and then I want to go to the, our another folder as a M and then auth. Okay, now click as enter. Now you can see it's now successfully redacted to our this folder, which is totally fine. And now if you want to run your server, that will be the command as a PHP artisan serve. Okay, I want to do and to run as a PHP and then serve. Okay, now click as enter. Now it will be uh, give you one of the development server. So that is our development server. I simply copy it. Now if you go and click as enter, 
Yes, you can see our Laravel project is now successfully installed. And that is our Laravel M8.6.9.0 right now. And now my PHP version as a 7.4.11. Okay. So right now I want to do, I want to take our project into the sublink text editor. That means here. Okay. I want to do, I want to go to that project. And that is our project folder name. I want to do, I want to take this folder name. Okay. Here, simply I take this folder name. Great. So that is all that our file right so by default that is all that laravel default file they have the models in here that is the http the controller in here all that controller will be in particular that position and then there is a route and if you go to that web route so that is simply pass one of the return of the view file as a welcome page right so now that is our welcome page so now in our next video i want to do i want to install that breeze okay how can you install that laravel authentication package as a breeze package in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video